Hello, everyone. Today we will talk about fiber optic couplers. Fiber optic couplers are used to split the input light signals into two or more outputs. They are called splitters in this case. The top picture shows an actual 2 by 2 fiber coupler product. It has two inputs and two outputs. The bottom picture shows that each input signal is split into two output legs. So each output is a mix of both signal A and signal B. Now let's talk about fiber coupler types. The first type is called Y coupler. Y coupler is also called tap coupler. This type of coupler simply divides the signal into two outputs. The power distribution ratio between two outputs can be precisely controlled, such as 10, 90%, 20, 80%, 30, 70%, 40, 60%, or 50, 50%. The other type is called T-coupler. T-coupler basically functions the same as Y-coupler. T-couplers can be cascaded to connect multiple terminals on a network, as shown in the bottom picture. The split ratio between two outputs should be 10, 90%, or 20, 80% in order to have enough power left for next terminal in the link. Another type is called star coupler. Star couplers have multiple inputs and outputs. The input and output port number can be the same or not, such as 2x2, 4x4, 8x8, etc. A star coupler distributes input light power equally among all output fibers. The top picture shows a n by n star coupler. The bottom picture shows a 2 by 8 star coupler. Tree couplers are also called 1 by n couplers because they take one or two inputs and split it into multiple outputs. Tree couplers distribute the input power equally among all output fibers. Most common configurations include 1 by 4, 1 by 8, 1 by 16, 1 by 32, and 2 by 4. 2 by 8, 2 by 16, 2 by 32 port ratios. Tree couplers have been extensively used to split and mix optic signals in CATV, LANs, and all other kinds of optical communication systems. OK, let's introduce how to make couplers. The first type is called fused couplers. Fused coupler is the most common technology. If the claddings of two or more fibers are partially removed, and the fibers are placed very closely over some length, then some light will couple from one fiber into the others. The fraction that couples can be controlled by the thickness of the remaining cladding and the length of the region where the fibers are in proximity. This type of coupler can be made by taking a group of fibers with the cladding exposed, applying tension, and heating the junction. The coupling fraction is controlled by the amount of tension and the time of heating. The T coupler, tree coupler, and the star coupler can all be made this way. The next type of coupler is called a PLC fiber coupler. Basically, it is a planar waveguide. The planar waveguide can be a strip deposited on the top of a flat substrate. Air and the substrate combine to serve the function of the cladding in a fiber. The simplest waveguide is straight lines, but much more complex patterns can be formed such as a branch or merge, making them the planar waveguide equivalents of fused fiber couplers. A simple type of waveguide coupler is a Y-shaped structure that divides input waveguide into two outputs. If the output waveguide split at equal angles, the light divides equally between them. Fiber Optic for Sale company has many free fiber optic training materials. Don't forget to visit foforsale.com.